Oh man, not again. As a teenager, I used to ride BMX all of the time. It was, it was my life. When the sun was out, I went to school, got home as soon as possible and went to the skate park. When it was raining, I was watching BMX videos over and over and over. I started riding BMX at the age of 13 or 14 years old. Most of my friends were playing soccer or football or however you want to call it. And yeah, it wasn't really my sport. I didn't like to play team sports. And also the thing with the ball wasn't my thing. Uh, at some point I find out about BMX and what I really liked about it was the fact that there were almost no rules, uh, at least when it comes to freestyle BMX, of course. You could do tricks uh, however you want them to do, uh, wherever you want them to do. And of course, on how many risks you were willing to take, everything was possible. But at some point I even noticed that I was losing interest in the hobby. When it came to tricks, I just peeked at the kind of tricks I did. Of course, I could practice more difficult tricks, but it also came with a lot more risk. So at some point, I also quit where I riding and started focusing more on other hobbies. But I always missed the creativity, um, the freedom, and also the rewarding feeling uh, BMX gave me. Being able to land a certain trick always uh, came with a lot of practice and trying and I was trying tricks all day and then maybe after a few days you finally made it. Yeah, I really missed the feeling of accomplishment and I couldn't find that in other hobbies. And then almost 10 years went by and of course I had some other hobbies. I was building cars, going to the gym, uh, all kind of that really guy stuff. But yeah, every hobby after BMX just wasn't the same thing. And then I found out about FPV. It was pretty insane how much uh, similarities FPV has to uh, BMX, at least for me. I really like the fact that you need to have the dedication to learn it, um, the satisfaction when you learn new things, the struggles that come with uh, the hobby. Um, yeah, it was really like, I. it really feels like I found the golden nugget or something. A thing that I really like about flying FMV is that the way I used to do things on my BMX bike I can now incorporate in how I fly my drone. For instance, when I'm flying, I always imagine I am flying or riding invisible ramps and the tricks I like to do are also relatable to BMX. Pilots that I find inspirational are, of course, Mr. Steel, um, Phantom FPV, Dan Z, Debate, Lumpy. All these pilots have this fast, aggressive style that I really enjoy watching. And when it comes to new, learning new tricks or finding inspiration, I really look up to these uh, guys. I watch these videos and I always think, oh man, I'm gonna learn this trick next time I fly. But um, when I got on the location, I hook on a battery and I run to all my packs mindlessly. Um, and then I forgot all about the, thick, uh, the tricks I wanted to learn. So I have an idea for that. So I found this video of Phantom FPV who made a trictionary with 96 tricks. And I got the idea to learn all these tricks. And I think most of them are pretty doable. Uh, in the end, at the end of the video, uh, the tricks are getting pretty hard. But I think it's a nice challenge. And if I'm flying and I don't know what to do, I can just check the list uh, of the tricks I didn't uh, learn yet. And I can try them or learn them. So I'm at the local spot and I want to see which trick I already can do. I wanted to fly at the parking lot I fly normally. But there are some cars over there and the people are literally sleeping in their trunks. So I'm not sure about that. 
Uh, so I have the, this nice open field over here and well, I think I can do some tricks. So uh, who can a bother battery? I hope it stays dry, I see some blue skies come in. But over there it's still pretty dark, so fingers crossed. Let's see, show you, I've put all the tricks uh, on a checklist and yeah, I will do just, I will just do a few. Yeah, I will do, I will just put a subtitle which trick I'm going to do. Uh, I see Hoover, skating, flips, rolls, well, at least these four must be doable. We can cry when it's over. One pack left, or at least it is charging right now. And um, yeah, do you think um, I can check some of these tricks? The flips, both sides, rolls, and the flat yaw spin. Not sure about that. I mean, it was a flat yaw spin, but they are um, not very clean. But yeah, I think it counts. Uh, and if not, the comments will probably tell me. Now for my last pack, I want to try a little bit of a harder trick, or maybe I already did sometime. Inverted jaw spin, as Phantom showed them in the video, it's a little bit different from how I'm used to do them. Normally I flip yaw and flip out of it, and I believe in the video he does a flip yaw and then a roll out of it, both sides. Um, I think that's a nice one to try. Again, man, it ate. Check it out. The whole cage is bent. The O3 camera, the glass is still there, but the the housing broke off. You know, this little uh, piece on this side broke off, so it won't fit anymore. Well, luckily I got a spare one at home now. This arm is, uh, well, I think the screw is broken the o3 came loose but i believe it's still working oh and i see everything compressed on the inside
Well, that was a gnarly crash again. But I still love it. Right? Oh, yeah. So yeah, unfortunately we crashed it again, but we're gonna fix it. And I have to say it's getting easier every crash. Um, well, I don't mind fixing it, it's just the wait for the new parts. So I think when I'm finally uh, done um, choosing the right parts or when I'm happy with the whole setup, then I will just buy some extra parts just to have some in stock myself. Okay, but what about the Trictionary Challenge? So I won't be chasing every trick in every video, but it will be more like uh, collecting the hidden packages in the Grand Theft Auto or uh, the secret tapes in Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I'll just keep flying and having fun, and when I learn a new trick, I can take it off uh, the list. I think this challenge will also encourage me to find new spots, because uh, and not all of the tricks that are on this list can be done on the location where I used to fly all of the time. So um, yeah, when I have to learn or want to learn certain tricks, I have to find new spots. And at this moment, I find it pretty hard to find new spots because yeah, I don't know how I <laughs> have to do it. Uh, sometimes I drive around in my van uh, or I look on Google Maps, but still when I get at the location, there's always a reason not to fly there. So I'm wondering how you guys do that. Do you guys also look on Google Maps or do you drive around in your car? Please let me know if you have any tips because it's something I'm currently struggling with. Anyway, thanks for watching again, guys. Uh, I will be fixing the drone. Hopefully next week it will be up in the air again and we can make some new videos, le learn some new tricks and maybe find some new spots. See you in the next one.